Hello there and welcome to my review of the M Audio Oxygen 49. So first let's take a look what's inside the box. Okay, that's pretty much it. It's a uh, standard USB cable. It's long enough to go around the device and plug into your laptop or computer. And, well, the uh, oxygen itself. The first thing I noticed when I unpacked it was that it was relatively small. So that's a good thing for me. So let's start on the back side of the M Audio. Uh, actually, the only thing I use here is the USB port which is also the power supply for this device and that's rather handy so you don't need any other cables here. Uh, you could attach a, uh, a sustain pedal but I don't have one so I don't. And you can also switch the M Audio off here but when you detach the cable it of course shuts down automatically so that's rather handy also. So on the business end of the Oxygen 49 you of course have the 49 keys for octaves so, um, well, for me, the first impression of the keys in themselves was that they have this plastic feel. It's not like they are bad quality or anything, but, well, when you're used to playing on high-end devices, uh, you have to get used to that a little bit. They are touch-sensitive, so that's a good thing. So, for me, it's, uh, it's more than enough. So, moving over to the top left part of the Oxygen 49. Uh, first, we have the pitch bend wheel and the modulation wheel. Both of them have a solid feel, uh, nice to operate, so that's good. Um, the track up and down button and the transpose button that will shift the keyboard up and down. These are very handy because you only have four octaves, so that's a good thing. Uh, the advance button and the program button, well, I don't use them, but you can select the presets. I only have one for reason that I have downloaded from M Audio. So that's nice that they give that away. Uh, and of course the, the little display that will tell you where your effect is, uh, is at. So then we move to the middle part and here we have like the nine sliders. And they are very good. They have just the right amount of resistance and you don't accidentally push them too far. At least I don't. And also we have the nine buttons, all of them are programmable, but in reason they have this preset that they are used for selecting the next sound in your folder. And that's very handy because you don't have to go to your laptop or your PC, to your mouse to click on the next button. So I can just find the right sound and then start playing without having to switch back and forth to my laptop. So moving on to the upper right corner of the Amario. Um, here we have the eight rotary knobs and well again as with the sliders they have a good feel to them uh, right resistance so you can they're easily operated um, they have a beginning point and a ending point uh, seems like a good thing but the only well issue that I had with that is when I'm assigning a effect um, it does not get any feedback from uh, from reason as of where this effect is at so let me demonstrate what happens if you don't pay attention. So I have just assigned this C10 knob to the filter frequency and you can see the C10 is in its max position. So moving on to the, to the uh, reason screen, I have assigned the knob C10 to this frequency filter and you can see it's in its starting position. So when you want to record now, you have this more this nice low sound. Um, and then you rotate the knob and then, oh, you see it just jumps to its max position. Um, well, that means you get a very nasty glitch in your sound, a hiccup or anything. And that's not good. So this just means that you have to be like really careful before pressing record that all your buttons are just where they should be. So moving back to the Oxygen 49 here. On the right part we have the transport buttons and they are very handy when you are playing or recording music because well, you can just click record and Reason will start recording and that means that you don't have to go back to your mouse and you can sit where you are and that's very handy. Now let's round up this review of the Oxygen 49. Um, a device that I really like because it offers the right combination between low price and good quality. Um, it is not too big. Not too small so it has the right amount of knobs uh, buttons sliders it can be stored easily 
So that's a good thing for me because I don't have studio right now. And I don't really have any issues with the Oxygen 49. Maybe the plastic feel of the keys, but I got used to that pretty quick. Um, the only thing was when installing it for the first time, uh, Reason told me that the MIDI port wasn't used by some other instrument. And I was pretty sure that it was not the case, so I had to f go online and find a solution, which luckily there was. Um, and I will put the solution in the description of the video. Uh, so that's it for now. If you have any questions, just reply to the video and I respond to them as soon as possible. And for now, goodbye.